Let's go to Phillies and Padres. So we discussed this series yesterday, um, but we didn't have official word on the pitching matchup for game one. It is Darvish. It is Wheeler. And currently over at the BetMGM Sportsbook, the Phillies are underdogs at plus 100 for the full game. Minus 105, first five. Padres, the favorites, minus 120, minus 115, first five. Anthony, this feels sort of similar to when we saw Zach Wheeler on the mound in the NLDS. The, 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 the odds seem similar, right? You're getting a, an even number on the full game, but that first five line, also basically a pick em. So is, is, is Zach Wheeler being overlooked here? Again, that was a bad question. You're just going to say, yes, he's good. <laughs> yes, he's good. <laughs> Yeah, I mean it's it's not just the same thing that happened in the wild card in, in the DS, but the wild card round. Uh, Zach Wheeler started game one of the wild card round. I bet yep. the Phillies at plus money in the first five innings against the Cardinals. Uh, they tied 0 0 in the first five innings. The Phillies had that miraculous comeback in the ninth inning to win the game. They advanced to the DS. He is uh plus money against Kyle Wright in the first five innings. Wright got out of one jam. Wheeler gave up one base runner in the first five innings. It was once again zero zero. The Phillies lost that game after a Reese Hoskins play in the sixth, uh, but F- F5 betters were okay. And once again, here we are, and we get F5 on Zach Wheeler against a pitcher that he is slightly better than. Uh, and I'm going to take the plus money again. You know, Wheeler and, and to a lesser, and to the same extent, Aaron Nola have, have been the main reason that the Phillies are here. Uh, their pitching has been elite in the playoffs. And over the course of the, of the last five months of the season, Wheeler was one of the best pitchers in the National League. We know uh, he has a marginally better strikeout minus walk rate. Then Darvish, marginally better pitching plus. His XCRA is about 0.4 runs lower than Darvish. Neither pitcher is going to walk a lot of guys. So it really comes down to who has more pop in the lineup, I think. And, and this, the problem for you, Darvish, in the past has been, has been giving up homers. Wheeler does not. He does an excellent job of keeping the ball in the park. The Phillies are a much better home run hitting team than the Padres. And, of course, we all know the numbers on teams who hit more home runs tend to do better in the postseason tend to win postseason games. If you just out homer your opponent, Phillies were sixth in barrels and fifth in homers. Padres were 21st in homers, 20th in barrels. Now I know the Padres lead the league in the playoffs in homers thus far. Uh, that is notable, but a small sample. Um, and one other thing, I think it's big. You Darvish is really bad at holding runners. Not a great person uh, for, for, for stopping the run game. Phillies could find some success stealing a bag or two. And, and that could make a small, small edge whereas the Phillies with JT and, and Wheeler are much better at controlling the run game. So I like the Phillies again, first five innings plus money. I bet it uh, last night. I think they're undervalued here. I'm going to be betting, I think, the F5 in a lot of these Wheeler and Nola starts. Again, still a little bit of a little less trust in the bullpen. I think the Padres have a clear bullpen advantage in this series with Suarez, Hayter, and Garcia pitching as well as they have. Been. Okay, very good. Maybe uh, before we wrap, I'll get your – uh, series thought before we go Colin for game one Wheeler Darvish the pitching matchup we talked about this briefly yesterday but now that we know what you're feeling on this game one from a betting standpoint yeah it makes me sick how all over the Phillies everyone here at the action network is but I am unfortunately with Tony D from Philly here and I'm on the Phillies <laughs> First five. I'm also on their full game. I know the Padres have the bullpen edge. I know Philly's bullpen scares people, but but I like both. You know, the first five line has moved outside of plus money. Got a plus money um, on Monday. But if you're looking for a bet today before the game starts, first five minus 105 is still fine. But I trust the Phillies in this spot. I trust Wheeler to get the job done against Darvish. He is a better starting pitcher. And the Philly offense is... You know, in, in betting, we never really want to talk about momentum because it's a myth. Momentum is only uh, is, isn't going to get you that far. But but I just don't see Philly's offense stopping what it did against Atlanta. It, it It's one of the scariest offenses in baseball during the regular season. They were a little bit inconsistent at times, which is why they were only the sixth seed in the wild card and the third best team in their own division. But we see what this offense can do when it gets hot behind the best one, two punch in baseball outside of Queens. And we're seeing it in the postseason right now. And and I have full faith in the Phillies 
So first five is obviously the smart play. I'm with Anthony there, but I'll take a stab at the full game as well, as long as it's in plus money. 